Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use high frames in Microsoft Expression Move 4. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use high frame in Expression Web 4. And before starting this session, let me discuss what is high frame. What is high frame? An iframe is a container used to load another web page. A simple definition. What is iframe? Iframe is a container used to load another web page. Okay, so we can use an iframe to load, or else we can simply say used. We can use iframe to load another web page. Okay, within an HTML page, we can use any number of i iframes with an HTML page. Once again, I repeat. What is iframe? Iframe is a container used to load another web page. For example, if you want to load another web page within the same HTML page, what option you want to use? Yes, the answer is high frame. And if you want to load another web page within the same HTML, the answer is high frame. For example, if you want to load more than one web page in an HTML page, the answer is high frame. Now we will see the syntax. The high frame can also be called as inline frame what is the another name of high frame the high frame is also called as inline frame so now we are going to see the syntax so i frame id where you want to provide the id and next one is a name you want to provide the name and next comes your source source you want to specify the path of the html file you wish to link to the html page once again i repeat frames so starts with iframe first you want to provide the id any any id like a table or a frame anything and name give a name for this iframe and source which html page should be displayed you want to give that html page path right here now we'll see the example so open microsoft expression web 4 just clicking the icon so now I'm going for file new HTML page. Okay, so now I'm going to use let us say brick reader. Let us say a uh, example for um, inline inline frame okay so now select the text make it bold and center I want to increase the font size so double X large okay and before and after I want to insert an horizontal line from uh, improving the presentation so here is the horizontal line you just click it and after the frame you just click the horizontal line now you see now I'm going to insert let's see insert a HTML page okay so how to insert an HTML page so here you can able to see inline frame so this is an inline frame you just double click it okay so when you double click it you can able to see set an initial page or else if you want to create a new page you can able to create a new page okay so where you can able to see the code right here is a high frame the id is i1 and name you can able to give uh, the name so and then you want to give the source now i am going to set set initial page so i am going to uh, So I've selected an already existing page. Okay, then I'm going for horizontal line and once again let us say send existing page. Okay, existing page. Now So inline 
frame new HTML page okay so select and make it bold and increase the font size and then I'm going to insert an horizontal line so this is an horizontal line now I'm going to insert inline frame you just double click it okay so now this time I'm going to use the option new page so where you can say fisherman joining institute okay and then you can type something FTI is a very good college okay and then if you wish to insert an another inline frame no problem see I'm using an horizontal line and now I'm going for one more inline frame and this time I'm going to set an initial startup page let us say fisherman twining institute so if you want to increase the size you just drag it and drop it and increase the size and if you want to change the properties right click inline frame properties so where you can able to change the name and initial page and if you want to give the title let us say FGI you can give the title if you want to change the width and height and margin and alignment and all the things you can able to customize it as per your requirement one second I repeat so select the frame and right click inline frame properties you can change the name and you can able to change the page or you can able to change the initial page and then you can provide the title and you can able to change the width and height of the frame as well as you can able to change the margin and height that is a width and height as well as you can able to change the alignment so left right top so middle so likewise you can able to change and scroll bar if needed never or always so if needed and click OK so now save this so file save let us see I'm going to create a new folder let us say example for inline okay open it let us say example one so what is it inline frame save it and this one is in let us say default okay why because we have created a new page this page you want to save it right this is a new page you want to save this page now how to view this here you can able to see view chrome or internet explorer so i'll be using chrome if you want to use internet explorer you can able to use internet explorer so now you can able to see your frame you can able to see plenty of this and a new html page this is a new html page this is an existing html page and this is also an existing html page see it's very simple you can use any number of html page within an html page so i think you may know the now you may know the use of inline frame okay this is how you want to use the inline frame i think you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you